all things SEO with Jay. Today, we're going to talk about how long does it take for your website to get indexed and ranked and what you could do to get things rolling. So the quick answer you guys all know is it really depends on your niche, right? Uh, but I'm, today I'm going to show you some of the different types of niche and how long it took them for, for it to rank, some of the different possibilities, but also what you need to do beforehand um, so that your site get, can get indexed faster and ranked faster and what you want to do after so that you could exponentially grow your site better. So let's get to it. Um, from the words from, of Google on how Google search works and learning how Google discovers, crawls, and serves web pages is pretty simple. Um, there's several ways on uh, Google identifying your site. There's a billion website uh, that's live right now, 1.8 billion websites that's that exist in, uh, currently. And for Google to identify all new websites or all websites or all new pages that's being created, it does take time for them to identify those and start indexing them and, uh, and then ranking them. So there's different types of uh, stages involved. Google has to identify that page. Google will then crawl that page. Google will then index that page for specific keywords and then be able to rank your page for these keywords and see how well it performs. So some of the things that uh, Google gets information or identify new pages for new website is through your current existing pages that you've created, uh, user submitted content such as Google My Business or Map User Submissions, uh, book scanning, uh, public database on the internet and many other sources like link building. So if uh, if your link is on a someone else's website and Google crawls that website and finds your website um, before um, you submitted your Google uh, Google Search Console, uh, then it might discover your page first, or it could submit your website to Google Search Console and uh, they might be able to identify that you have a website and start crawling. We don't know which one is, uh, there is, uh, the question is which came first, the chicken or the egg? And uh, we don't know when or how Google does it, but it'll do either or and then find your website. So how do we, uh, what we do now makes a big difference um, and if we just create a website and do nothing, you'll see how that's really what you shouldn't be doing and what here are things that you should be doing. So first, let's go into the different types of niches that, um, that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, so this is a yoga website. Uh, we sum submitted this website in January uh, and it took them since till July to kind of get noticed of what this website is. So yoga uh, essentially is very uh, diverse in the different types of categories. There's hot yoga, big rum yoga, uh, yoga poses, health and yoga, diet and yoga, meditation and yoga, chakras and yoga. So there's so many categories. Google is going to freak out if if it goes to this website and try to understand your website and try to figure out where to rank you. So um, take that into consideration when you first create a website, you want to be, uh, you want to try to have Google categorize you uh, the best way possible. Because what Google does is once it crawls your site, and uh, it needs to index your site and put your pages where it needs to be. Um, so uh, if you're in a yoga site or a dog niche site, where do you belong? Do you belong in health? Do you belong in uh, nutrition or meditation or stress level or uh, 
where where should we put your site and that is uh the struggle that a lot of people don't know that uh and what google is trying to do at all um when they find your new site so uh as a new website uh you want to categorize yourself as much as possible here's a uh, another website a uh, software development company again software development is very difficult a very broad niche what type of software uh do you provide uh, in this case it's uh healthcare so they focus on uh, providing new software development for uh, all types of healthcare industry so we are able to rank for this site a lot faster compared to uh, the yoga site that you've seen so as soon as we submitted the the, the website we start to get uh, some traction within the first month and then obviously we kind of grow from there this is a golf website again golf is very big what are you going to focus on this focused on tall golfers uh, so we focused more on a specific in, a niche versus uh, trying to teach people how to how to how to do golf, or is this a golfing news site? Uh, is it talking about all the tournaments that's going on, or who's famous in golfer and what they're doing and things like that? Uh, so trying to categorize yourself, your website as much as possible, and just focusing on that category and expanding on the different types of content for that is very important when you create a brand new website so that you could get google to understand your site and then uh, the crawling and the indexing and the ranking is shorter you're trying to condense the the time frame it takes for them to uh to get to that point this is a dog website again very big niche but what are you going to focus on so this one uh, started from june and within one to third month it starts to realize what the site is about so we focused on french bulldogs so uh, instead of talking about dog training and all the different types of breeds we focus on a specific type of breed so that google understands what the site is and starts to rank us very quickly so uh, yes different types of niches uh, does take uh, uh, does matter and the competitiveness of that niche does matter but what you really want to focus on is this uh, you want to category categorize yourself so if you're a dental practitioner if you're a general practitioner maybe you want to focus on one specific type of practice so uh, focus on implants uh, dental implants uh, or uh, tooth decay or whatever or how to treat your de uh, teeth uh, prevent your teeth from um, uh, going to the dentist or something like that and just focus on those type of inf content versus here we're a general practitioner where uh, we do everything um, then you're going to be dispersed and google's going to try to rank you for this and that uh, and then you're going to be all over the place and it's going to take a long time for you to rank for a lot of these keywords but if you specialize in dental implants then you'll be able to rank better and faster but also get indexed faster and better so once you publish another article about dental implants uh, let's say the pros and cons is one article and then the benefits of dental implants or when you should be getting dental implants those are the types of articles and content that you want to produce so that once you publish it google says oh dental implants will rank you for this one we know who you are and you'll get indexed faster so this is the the key the before factors of what you need to be doing so that your pages can get indexed faster not a lot of people talk about this type of uh, scenario uh, and they all talk about the competitiveness of the niche and it depends on your competitive and the keyword and things like that but focus on specific niche so that google could categorize yourself google now unlabeled you as dental m specialist on dental implants and put you on every parts of every type of keywords for dental implants and then you can move on to dental prevention and other type of uh, dental practice 
uh, but you want to just kind of focus on each of these different categories or clusters so that you could be kept known for those things. Now, the, uh, the things that you want to do so that your site get noticed by Google faster, um, it's known here, uh, so Google My Business and things like that, but what you want to do for each page or for your website is a few things. You want to create a, uh, the site map for your website. Uh, so if you have WordPress, you could download Rank Math, uh, and it'll automatically generate your site map for you. Um, so uh, here, once you publish an article, it'll show you, uh, it, it, it tells Google that this was created this day, last modification, and things like that. Um, so um, when Google goes to your site, uh, it goes to your sitemap, finds new page, and starts indexing it. The other thing that you want to do is you want to add your sitemap to robot.txt because Google does crawl your robot.txt and find different types of things such as do not follow, uh, do, not in, do not index this login page or thank you page or this and that. Here's a sitemap. Go to this page. Uh, things so you're kind of guiding Google here. Here's a site sitemap. Instead of trying to identify every page on your site, you're instructing them here. Here's a sitemap for you, and this sitemap, uh, we have a brand new article here. Go to this one. You're kind of directing Google so that you could um, pave the road for them, so that you uh, it's less of a pain for them to. Uh, disperse their the task and trying to find new content and things like that. Uh, the next step you want to do is uh, submit your URL. So this, let's say this is a brand new URL. You type, uh, paste that into this uh, search bar, and obviously this is on Google right now. But it'll say, it'll say URL is not on Google. And what you want to do is you want to click indexing. Uh, what this does is you're, you're telling Google, hey, this is a brand new site. Yes, we do have sitemap uh, that says we created a brand new uh, your, uh, page, but you also want to submit your site, uh, that specific URL to this, to your Google Search Console so that we, because we don't know where Google's going to um, find that new page um, and things like that. So you want to give them the option of crawling either or so that you could, uh, Google can um, find your page faster. The other thing that you want to do is you want to create a site structure based on internal links. Uh, this is what John Mueller, the Google Webmaster Trend Analyst says. Uh, essentially, internal linking helps us on one hand find pages. So that's really important. It also helps us get a bit of context about that page. So um, if you have an article, uh, you want to define what that is. So if uh, you have an article, uh, help, help school find pages, you, wanna, uh, you, you have an article about that, you want to use this text to define that article and link that article to this text. Um, so uh, you're kind of cross-referencing articles with each other. So going back to the dental practice, if you have the benefits of dental implants, uh, and then within that contents, uh, there are, and then you have a sentence called, uh, there are some pros and cons of dental implants, and you want to link that word to the, the pros and cons of dental implant article, you're kind of defining uh, that page a bit better. So you're telling Google, hey, this is the keyword uh, that defines what this page is about. And you want to do several different types of variation. You want to give them a little bit more context. So if it's just a pros and cons dental implant article, you might provide um, different types of uh, context and uh, interlinking for that article. So in the, the pros, uh, pros and cons article, you have, let's say, uh, how 
your jaws um, will get distorted if you don't have dental implants, if you're missing t teeth. Um, and then you have an article written about uh, your jaw fixation and uh, what you need to do to prevent uh, whatever the distortion of your jaw and alignment and things like that. You could link uh, the pros and cons dental implant article uh, and you're defining that content more and more. So the more interlinking uh, for that article and more different types of variation of that uh, will define that content better. Uh, so uh, before you do any link building, um, I would suggest you do a lot of the internal structure, uh, internal linking structure uh, compared to paying for all the links and uh, hiring a link building outreach and trying to get more links and things like that. Links only help if uh, to help identify your page. Uh, yeah, you might get uh, some sort of authority of your site down the road to get more links, but you really want to focus on creating the best pages possible, the best inform informative content possible so that you can rank better. And the reason why is, uh, here's another quote, what is a good link? A good link is someone who come across your website and thinks it's a fantastic website and recommends it to other people. So if you write the best article compared to everyone else, you will get links. Uh, it's you, People want to share it. You want to kind of give, uh, you want to kind of promote that type of content versus trying to hire someone to uh, tell people, hey, uh, put my link into your website and things like that. Um, obviously, uh, Google kind of expands on what uh, there is self promotion. You do want to promote your links. Uh, if you don't want to, uh, if you have a low budget or have zero budget, or if you don't want to do a lot of link building outreach and things like that, you could create social media accounts. You could have Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and things like that so that you could gain more audience, follow people, have them follow you, um, interact with people, share links and things like that so that they can see your article um, and they might be able to link it or share it with someone who might be able to link it. So you want to kind of create that viral effect so that someone could read your site. The point is getting people to go to your site and read the content and want to share it. That's the... Uh, the key into link building versus trying to build links and build authority. You're not trying to, uh, the, here, the going back, creating fantastic website, creating fantastic content so that you gain uh, thousands of links versus trying to reach uh, a thousand people and getting five links only. You focus on content, uh, pay top dollar for the writers, or things like that so that you get the best optimal content that people want to share before you do any outreach. So those are the things that you could do uh, before and after the fact of how you could get your new website in, um, discovered, indexed, and ranked. If you have any questions or recommendations or best practices, feel free to leave a comment below. Also hit the like, uh, like button and subscribe. Uh, if you do like this video and all the videos that I have, uh, and there's more to come. Um, till then, next time, see you later.